Hello and welcome to an Alien Swarm Tile Gen Editor Tutorial. Um, the game had just got released yesterday, I think, and so I've been tinkering with it a little bit, and I have somewhat figured out the Tile Gen Editor that comes with the game. Now, normally with a Source Engine game, you would have to go into the SDK and start up Hammer, go into the big thing about layout, you know, have to seal your map completely, make a start area, have to put every brush into it, you know, all the lighting entities and all that complicated stuff. But the cool thing about Alien Swarm, it comes with a little editor inside the game, so you don't have to do any of that. And it's a really cool thing, I find. So we're going to find out how it goes. Start up Alien Swarm, and you're going to go to Options keyboard and mouse and check that little box there what that does is it opens up the developer console to so we can type in commands like a little developer would so you can hit your tilde key and this little box will pop up you can type in things like um let's see r something or other that does graphic things we can open up a map if we wanted to asi blah, blah, blah. but for our instance we're going to be worrying about the tile gen editor and this is how we're going to open it up First, you can do SV Cheats 1. Let's just do things we normally couldn't do in a game. Now we're going to type in S A S W Tile Gen. And this will bring up the Tile Gen editor of the game. Um, so far, yes, it just got released. I figured out some of these things, but not all of them. I'm going to hopefully bring it in. But luckily, this is such an easy editor that you can play with it yourself and probably figure out a lot more than I have so far. So we're going to start fresh. New map layout. Bam, new map layout. Two things I want to point you to, majorly. You have themes. You have a dev theme and an example theme. You see over here it changing? A dev theme seems more like a rudimentary layout, so you can lay out your basic map, start to finish, put it in a hammer, and do more to it. But for our purposes, we're just going to do like an example map. Now, if anyone is familiar with Hammer, you might be familiar with instances that came with Left 4 Dead 2. I'm, I'm thinking what all these little different one-by-one -one rooms, corridors, end caps, exit, blah, 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 are actually instances put together in Hammer and somehow coded to work in here. I'm sure in the future we will have more information on that and people will be making like Disney World and this with just these little things. Anyways, let's get started. First, we're going to want the start area. Let's click in here. There we go. Maybe I want a you know, corridor going off this way. Maybe uh, let's put an end cap there. Mm, let's put a small room right there. Another room. No, another room there? Okay. Another room there? There we go. And then we want the exit, which I have to, let's see. I'm gonna want one of these. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's not it. That it? Yeah, that's it. Click that. Click that. Maybe one of these. Now we'll put the escape. Bam. And now we're done. We have our very, very start to finish basic map. What we're gonna want to do now is cap off the ends. Norm, you don't need to cap these off for the map to work, but if you don't, then the player can fall off the map into the Great Abyss, and it wouldn't be too good. So, what we're going to do here, is we're going to cap off this. Cap off that, 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 that. Oh, my background changed. Okay, let's keep going, keep going. Click, cap. Uh, cap, cap, okay. I think we're fully cap. Might be one or two. Um, now we have our map, basic map. But where are we going to start? Well, I figured out that you have to right-click, and it brings a little green guy here. Um, another thing i got to point out, I almost forgot, is that maybe you made a mistake and put something over there. You, you want to know how to get rid of it. Well, you just click over it again and hit delete. Gone. Simple. Uh, you can also, if they have multiple, you can right-click to get rid of that tile. Select all the tiles, hit delete, and for some reason they stay. I think it's a glitch in the program, probably. Okay, anyways, we're done. We have a basic map. Let's get going. We're going to go to File. We're going to save our map first, just to make sure. Let's say SDF, why not? 
Now, some of these are pretty obvious what they do. I mean, export VMFs, play a map, play a map without aliens. I'm not going to go into giant cahoots of what they do. Um, let's, eh, let's, let's play with aliens. Why not? Have some fun. There we go. It's compiling, it's going through, seeing what lighting does, where props are located, what lighting is going on the props, and build is complete. Now, you see, we didn't have to touch any entities, we did not have to touch lighting, we did not have to touch any of that. We just placed where we want our tiles to be, and we'll be able to play. Let's get the black guy, why not? There we go. And now, as you see, we have our basic map. Everything's finished, and apparently I forgot to put a cap. Now, I am really loving this. It is an amazing thing for, well, Valve in general. Uh, people who haven't, you know, touched Tamper before and kind of skeptical just because it might be a little complicated at first, don't have to. They can come in here, put a few tiles down, and place them down. And maybe they want to put a smiley face on this wall. Well, they can. They have to load it on a hammer and start tinkering with it. And eventually they'll be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Maybe I want some... a door in that wall. Maybe I don't want that file cabinet there, you know? Uh, let's get rid of him. Go. But this camera's probably lagging the hell out. I hate reloading in this game. Anyways, let's go find the end. Where'd I put the end? Ah! Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, I'm not getting to the end. Oh, God! Uh, okay. Well, as you see, we didn't have to touch anything. No entities to mess with, no lighting to mess with, didn't have to put where aliens are gonna be. It all just worked. So, that is a very, very basic tutorial on how all this works. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the um, map automatically loads in with the basic game mode of where, once you get to the end, you have to... Let me get out of here. I don't want to restart. No? Do I have to restart? Oh, yeah, it's just going to bring back the main menu. Uh, or not. Uh, whatever. Anyways, it comes with the basic game mode where when you get to the end, you have to kill at least 200 swarm. And... I haven't figured out how to change that game mode, but if we open up our little... Oh, it's here. If we open up our editor again, we notice we have a missions tab. And I'm sure this is where that game mode is, over here by example 200. You can um, make a new mission. I don't know how. I'm sure someone's going to have a better tutorial later on how to do that. But that is your basic Alien Swarm tutorial on how to make a map. Well, <laughs> get out there.